like my mom used to say, if you take the first step, God would take the next. So I found out every step I made, there was always somebody that, that would come, an old teacher from years ago, you know, a, a, a guy I used to just talk to, and he called me and said, hey, man, I'm about to do some photographing, you know, so um, life has an element um, where it works itself out. But there's a discipline with me. There's a strange discipline. You got to show to me, you got to show yourself worthy of the journey. If you don't want it, it ain't going to happen. If you want it bad enough that you cry for it, that you, you, you would die for it, it can happen. Because nothing is impossible. Nothing. You know, I'm a simple man. I'm not the sharpest knife in a drawer. But the sharpest knife, which now you don't worry about that one, is a dull knife. You forget, and that's the one that cuts you, right? So I might not be the sharpest one. Call me the dull one, die, but you know what? I'm unplugged, and I've called this, this, uh, this thing called art and um, the beauty of it and how therapeutic it is. Uh, if it's a rainy day, I paint. The sun is shining. If I'm not feeling good, I paint. The sun is shining. If I'm depressed, I paint. The sun is shining. Art has a way to transform. It's like, um, it's like uh, medicine for arthritis. <laughs> it, it's like funk, you know, it removes, it makes you dance, you know, it makes you do all kinds of things. So I'm quite, um, I'm, I'm, I'm not the old school guy, I'm the new school guy. New school, new school. <laughs> and you know, you know, one of the greatest things also is I noticed that um, I attract a lot of millennials, and I love it. I think sometimes as we get um, mature in age, we tend to think we got everything, we know it all. I bring on some of the most talented millennials you ever want to meet, and y'all guys be rocking and bawling. Y'all show me the media I need, and, and make me look um, like, like what you see in this version of me, and it's important because then I am a mentor to you as you are to me because when a student is ready, ready the master appears. But when a master is ready, the student also appears. Isn't it weird? Because I had students that come around, man. Like, remember Joe, right? I called him Crazy Joe. That guy's still with me, man. I got rid of the rest of them. They asked Miles Davis, say, uh, he said, do you keep the same people, the same cats all the time? Miles Davis like, fuck no, man. They, they know me too well. I find that when you work around people sometimes, they know you so well, they don't give you that respect or the job don't get done. So I don't have the same crew. I give everybody a can an opportunity to, um, to indulge. As I indulge them, they indulge me as well. Mm -hmm. He got a smile, man. That means it was good.